Good evening, my friends, and welcome. I'm Nero. Today we're going to do something that's going to be a little scary for me. I wanted to watch some of my old footage. I think I will also watch some of my actual published footage, but this is something you've never seen before. This is the very first video I ever recorded. This was a test recording to test out mechanics and all that. <clears throat> kind of get a feel for things. And yeah, I, I just kind of want to see, I want to watch it with you so that I can see how I have developed as a content creator, as a YouTuber, and just as a person. Uh, keep in mind, I've been doing this for a couple years now. Not a long time, but any amount of time. Yeah, so without further ado, let's begin. Oh, good morning. That lighting. I'm Nero, and this is my test recording. Oh, and the audio. Also, I said good morning. That is not something I usually say, but I was saying it in the time period that I was watching it. Sure is. Rather than starting with the recording of my actual gameplay footage, I thought it prudent to start with a test Listen recording. Listen to me talking so, so very slow golf and trying myself. to talk very deep all the time. I'm going to ignore the fact that it's called golf I do prefer friends, talking deeper because I'm going to be playing it by myself. But I'm learning to be better about having variations Let's in my tone. these transitions work. Because sometimes you want to be upbeat, and sometimes you do want to be I serious. Do. That should have been a seamless fade. A <laughs> seamless fade, yeah. I'm not entirely sure, though. <clears throat> Decided to play the map Jelly Belly 2 for reasons. Also, I decided I'm going to uh, try streaming this. Let's see what happens. All oh, right. So originally what I would do is I would actually stream this to my Discord. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Clearly that's not going to work. Settings, stream key. That's all interesting. That would probably be how I do Twitch streaming if I have if I decide to get back to Twitch streaming. <clears throat> I have to use the OBS stream key and all that. Uh, Way to do that. All right. Well, in that case, I'm not going No, to you're not. <laughs> try just Duh. joining in this and streaming my game. Oh, my goodness. My audio is so bad. So I used to have all my audio go through yeah, one let's thing. Let's try with that. And that was not the way to do it, as it turns out. <clears throat> we don't have Discord Nitro, so we're not going to be doing that. Why not? <laughs> just listen to all the Discord sounds. Yeah. Goodness. How that works. And here we go. Jelly Belly 2, jump and explore. Gosh, I wonder why I never That's uploaded this video. Recording. Hoping that nothing overlaps. <laughs> well, as with all these custom maps, it's going to take a while to load. I do like that there are, there's the ability to make these custom maps, though. Ooh, offering my expert commentary. The official courses are fun, but oh, God, that. how often do you get to go through? Audio level is so content. loud. Oh goodness! It's, it's, a, it's a nice course you get there. Or you know, something. You know, oh no! God, I wonder if. Do I fix the audio? Do I ever fix the audio? Oh, I don't know if I do. You idiot. Why are you not looking at the decibel levels? I think... I'm pretty sure I, I thought... 
I'm pretty sure I thought that I could fix it all in post, but not if I don't record it the right way. Because I'm I like Mythbusters. Now it looks like I know what I'm doing. No, it doesn't. Like I'm a professional. <laughs> Look at you. You can't even get par on a par two. Good grief. That's right. I think we're going to be okay. I still bet I get the absolute best score. <laughs> yeah, I bet I get the absolute best score in a single player game. God. I was so pretentious. Barely, barely modulating my voice at all. I'm getting better about that, especially in collaborative videos. Man, this music is great. It's a good thing I like this music, because it's so loud. I swear, I'm actually pretty good at this game. I'm not. Come on, you can do it, you can do it! Yeah, go Nero! Six strokes for a par three. Three over par. We're fine. <laughs> this is probably footage that we'll uh, never see the light of day. Unless I <laughs> yeah. Successful, which is unlikely. Uh, so you We're not successful yet, bud. Have that I still have that, but I still actually have it hung up on my longer than I care to admit to find a way to get that to stay up. All right, okay, I'm pausing for a moment. Uh, so yeah, right now I have it on the green screen hanging frame, uh, that my, my dear friend NK who's been in the comments before. Um, my dear NK got me for Christmas. Uh, she was very much like, you, you, I don't, you're struggling. You're struggling to have things be that way. And she knew this because I had talked to her about it. So that, how I had that hung up, I actually put up a laundry line in my old living room before we moved. I put up a, a laundry line and I I had that draped over laundry line that ran right through the middle of our living room um, which was not a large room it was maybe 12 by 15 and it cut the living room in half uh, oh my goodness it was so tiny and so cramped and that was such an old webcam I was like crammed up against it and trying to find ways to oh it was just such a nightmare by <clears throat> a few tentpoles, actually. Oh, yeah, here I'm. That I oh, no, was that tent poles? That's right. Even before I got the laundry line set up, I'm pausing again. Even before I got the laundry line set up, I was using uh, tent poles precariously, like, wedged in furniture and some, like, random pieces of PVC I had laying around. That was my my backdrop framework. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> uh, now I just have software do it for me. It's great. That's the way to do it. Eventually I'll probably add that starry background back in. It's actually being held up by recliner and my bookshelves. Yep. We have come a long way. We have come a long way from recliner and bookshelves. It's not the highest quality engineering I've done. <laughs> I've, I've done better, but I'm in a hurry. I just start recording and doing a test. That, that, that right turn. there. That's, that's my, my, that's my feeling and stuff. Because guess what? You can just start recording with whatever crap you've got laying around. It was one of the 
Oh, I don't have a backdrop? Guess what? I had a recliner, a bookshelf with a blanket stretched between them. I purchased them for myself. <clears throat> what on earth? I have chosen poorly. I, I don't know that I could have chosen a worse place to come in. Par 9 course. Good night. I curse creatively. You may have noticed that in some of my videos. I don't curse a lot, but when I do, I curse creatively. So that's fun. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hey, we're still coming in under par on this one. We can't hear the stupid tombra of your voice because your game is too damn loud. Relaxing tones are great unless nobody can hear it. This is kind of a performative voice, if you will. I'm getting better about that. I'm trying to balance out. Yeah, see, if I don't pay attention, it's fine. But the performative voice, because normally my voice would be a little higher, like this. But yeah, right that's now, my that natural just, voice. I can hear it, and it just it grates on my, on my ears. Uh, there are, yeah, there sometimes are my voice is really grating. The sound of my voice. Um, and then there are times that uh, I will not speak for an entire day. Because if I were speaking, close one like <clears throat> way to go me thanks me which is to say incredibly unhealthy oh goodness that could have been very bad so from the drain and again and again oh all right i guess i'll take another stroke there we go i will finish five but yeah the lighting in that room was terrible i was using one of my old uh LED lamps, it's and I had it bounce. I had it point straight at me. Oh, it was so bad. It washed me out so much. <clears throat> and of course, you can see the resolution was not great. At least, part of the issue with the resolution there is uh, silly me thinking that would. Part of the issue with the resolution there is uh, that. That was before I understood how resolutions and stuff worked. These, these courses tend to be much easier if you just don't play. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted listening to myself. Uh, so I, I didn't understand that if you scaled down a video like that in the software itself, it would mess with the, the resolution and everything on the on the back end, which is why now you'll probably notice that my videos are coming a little clearer, my my facial features and everything a little, a little more vivid, much to my own chagrin. Um, oh my goodness, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Oh, I'm saying something important. Increasingly difficult, especially in this market of talking while playing games. Yeah, because the market of talking while playing games is people who do this. And there are super a lot of saturated. Done this for a long time, and there are a lot of people who have done this for a long time and are very good at it. And then there are people who decide, you know. If I'm going to be playing video games anyway, I might as well record myself talking while I'm playing video games. And that is how I started. At all wants to listen to, watch, hear, what have you. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, it, when I started doing this, So 
they don't. Oh yeah. But they have multiple testimonies from a lot this of This is I think I'm talking about Markiplier here. I'm in the same stance of yeah, you saved my life. I was going through rough times and I found your videos. And so I know I know I've talked about it before. <laughs> The Got Markiplier Try Not to Laugh challenges. I know I've mentioned that very here before. Was very uh, relaxed. Literally it saved my life. <clears throat> it wasn't a heavy investment. It was just a friendly, nice guy. And that's the entire stuff. vibe I'm trying to go for is, hey, we're either Watch watching games or playing games and together. Like, we're all, we're all laugh. together in this. Described as a try not to laugh challenge, but we all knew what we were there for. We were there to laugh together. God, the music on this is so stupid loud. That I don't, I don't know how to say vibe is what a lot of the content creators do now. They make the buddy. That is part of why I've been trying to do more collaborations. I'm fine with talking over myself. I don't care. I'm not saying anything important. I think uh, it helped me a lot to recognize, and part of why I've started doing this, is that you can't have that I'll listen to myself. if you're not a human as well. Wow, that's some profound so shit. That's some heavy advice. Entertaining. Fart jokes. I have not done any butt jokes. Uh, I have made a little bit of blue humor. Innuendo. Uh, but joke. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made a butt joke. This is also still my test video. So. <clears throat> Now, I think I have made some of those jokes repeatedly since then. But that's okay. It's very important to recognize when you're watching these creators that they are creators because of you. They are able to do what they do because they have an audience. And you are that audience. If you didn't like their stuff, Watch their stuff. That's watch that's their videos, a good point. Uh, buy their merchandise, subscribe to their channel, get the advertising for them. If you didn't do those things, we've had some of these conversations between Danny and I, which I've really enjoyed those conversations. Uh, I'm looking forward to do more content creation with uh, I Am Legend Danny. He is just a fantastic content creator, content creator, and just a great guy. That's one of the things I wanted to drive home when I started doing this. Specifically, because we gotten into this world where there's this concept of celebrity, and they're they're so much higher above you. They're so much different. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do some of the audio here. Ah, I'm we'll see. Realizing as I start my journey, I'm gonna have to repeat so much of this because this is such good dialogue. It's not that great. Oh, it doesn't hit me. Oh, okay. 
it's okay dialogue. I'll give myself that. When they all say, oh, anybody can do anything, just start recording. And it's all about finding your audience and finding what you have. I am a bit of a facilitator. Uh, I won't say by nature, but by who I have become over time. I just had chili for dinner, so my nose is running. And as a facilitator, I want I want people to be happy. I want people to be healthy. In any and every There are some people that hate me saying that. And sometimes what makes what is the healthy choice is the choice that makes you happy, and sometimes the choice that makes you happy is the healthy choice. Um, and it's finding that balance. understand now why so many of these uh, YouTubers that I watch, I, I watch them and I watch them play games like this and it's like, oh, that was such an easy shot. How could you miss that? It's very easy to miss things if you're also talking and having multiple thought problems. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to play games and I talk about it at the same time. This, I think I did watch this on my own when I first started doing this. I'm like, That's a lot this of audio is unusable. What the hell was I thinking? Wow, that was actually a pretty good show. Still counts. <laughs> Still counts. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, why would someone... I don't. I, I still don't think I'm going to be that successful. And I only somewhat have the charismatic nature for it. I'm really good at selling people things, but usually those things aren't me. I'm not quite so good at selling myself. And I've been I'm working on that. I, I think I stopped recording the game here in a minute, so that'll be nice. It'll be nice to actually hear myself. It has helped shape me to be who I am now. It does not define me, but it is part of who I am and who I was. And that's something that needs to be addressed with everyone, is recognizing that we have all made mistakes. We all have like this video. flaws. We all have wounds from our past and oftentimes they're self-inflicted whether by intent or by consequence we are sometimes the ones who are most responsible for who we become that camera position was terrible I had it sitting like as low as possible looking up so you're like constantly looking into my nostrils in life but it's important for me to recognize that who I am now is not who I was 
and who I am now, I could not have been without being able to sit down now and recognize the mistakes I made, the people I've hurt, and the people who have hurt me, the bad decisions I made, and the consequences that came with them. Oh yeah, I've some I've done some pretty messed up stuff up in the conversation leading up into Fable, because Fable is to me it was one of the first games that had a consequences of your actions mindset. Who it's you true. who you were, who you became in the game, was related to the choices you made man look at that even you can count the, the pixels start. and it shaped you physically as well as how it shaped the world and that's true when I started doing this I was dealing with some stuff even then I'm sitting at about 23 <clears throat> minutes of recording and only about half of that has been gameplay that was a less than rousing game of golf I need to figure out a way to make my teeth look not terrible I'm that, super self conscious about is, my teeth still that is not ideal I'm getting that, less self conscious about it so that it isn't quite so visible <clears throat> hey brush or and I floss your teeth kids recognize that my teeth are a nightmare and they are something that I want to address but I cannot let that stop me from starting good on you I have Way to, to go near allow myself to begin with the flaws I have and recognize that there will be consequences that's because of this. And that's okay. There will be choices and decisions and challenges along the way. Hmm. As there are for everyone for every choice you want to make, for every task or project you want to pursue, you're going to have challenges. Okay, now you're just different getting, than others. Now you're just getting preached. I'm almost certainly going to be different than anyone else's. And when what I started I is how you I'll wait for silence. handle those challenges. And it's important to remember that I was so preachy. You can't ask for help. I'll do some I commentary. I guarantee and say you definitely have people in your life that will support you right now, no matter what. You might not. That might be one of your challenges. That should probably be your first challenge: is finding the people who will absolutely support you, who will love you, who will empower you and whom you can love and empower and support in their journeys find your strength and find your people that's how you find the decent way. advice I tend to look around. I don't really want to I close think. with something quite so profound. I want to close with something funny, something <clears throat> lighthearted, something like a joke. No, okay. not a joke, but something lighthearted. A bit. A bit is like a joke. It's a bit like a joke. Oh, puns. Puns are going to be the bane of my existence because I can't resist making them. 
I cannot resist I love a making good a good pun. Well, I making a wonderful. pun and hoping it's good. I do like the natural lighting. <laughs> natural lighting is good. That's um, right. I had opened the reflecting window. Reflecting on... <clears throat> the that was straight up sunshine. Of recording. Hey, foreshadowing. I get skin I cancer. <laughs> leave this flapped together as is. And... Uh, have this like as a private video and get some feedback from people I trust. See if they have any input <laughs> or thoughts on the subject. They don't. Not one tooth. It's gonna be ugh. Ugh. Still bothers. Still bothers yeah, me. That's bad. But I'm not letting it stop okay. me. I'm still making content. I'm still taking the steps I need recognizing that I need to look at the camera when I'm speaking. I, pro I could probably do that with a zoom function, but I only have the one screen and that would require being able to do things, uh, I don't know, while I'm talking in the background and recognizing that I can do or things. Or editing. Like this. Oh my goodness, it's so close. It's right there. Ah! Okay. No, don't save the changes. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I hated that. Like, me here now, I hate that. Call to action. That's how I'm going to conclude the video, which is, of course, you know, find your, find your power, find your strengths, and find the people that can help you. My and calls to action tend to not be way. the same as others. And, of course... As such, I would invite you to be one of my people. One of the people that supports me and empowers me. Look at me, me trying to shoehorn in. Yeah. Because I know you're out there. I know there are people out there who are willing and able to do that. When I start doing YouTube Yeah, about videos, 19 of them right now. Liking, commenting, and subscribing. <clears throat> not going to compel you to hit that bell as it were if you'd like to you're welcome to but if you like my content you'll watch it if you don't it's understandable too if it's something you just need in the background that's okay as well sometimes that's how i watched a lot of content saying hey you can still do those things in fact, let's, let's take a minute right now. One of the most important things for me, hydration. We're not going to talk about that right now. It seems like kind of a ridiculous thing. Yeah, drink water. We get it. La, 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 la. We're not talking about that, stuff. We're not talking about this if thing it seems during October. To, you, to have somebody tell you, hey, you should drink some water. You're probably not drinking enough water. It we're took we're me not a while talking about to it. To I'm not I bringing it up. Wanting, I mean, wanting he's bringing water. it up, and he was me, but I I'm not him. Soda. I love I was him. Juice. I love sugary drinks. Shut up! And they'll hydrate you. Next subject! But ultimately, best hydrating beverage is just water. Just drink some water. My face is numb. I drove for like five hours today. Sweets and I went to a chili cook-off. It was great. I can't feel my face. A week. <laughs> Just focusing on drinking water. You will feel so much better. Probably. <laughs> I'm not going to say that's God. a blanket statement for everyone. There are some people that have conditions and situations uh where they can't just drink regular water. Some people have to Only drink Only Sith water, deal in absolutes. Okay I haven't tried it myself. I'm interested. But I haven't tried it myself. So, if you need... If you feel empowered and motivated to do something, to take one small step, and be like, I, I want to do stuff, but I don't know how to start. Hell yeah. Let's, Even let's back start there. Small. Drink small, water. sustainable changes. Seriously. Right now, go. Go drink some water right now. 
stand up. I'll I'll still be here. It's fine. You can pause if you need. You don't yeah, have for to another pause. fifty-five seconds. It's fine. If you have it to where you can hear it from whatever. Let's go to the kitchen. Background music go helps. To the break room. Go to the fountain. Let's just go get a drink of water. Just a good drink of water. It's not going to feel like much to start with. Small steps usually don't. But hey, you did it. You took a small step. You took a small sip. I did. Made progress. I did. I hit 30 minutes. I'm going to call that good for my test episode. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Oh, wow. <clears throat> what can we even say about that other than, yeah. I uh, I don't remember making that video. I'll be honest. I'm glad I did. And looking back on it now, one of the things was small sustainable changes. Even that early, even that far back, I was talking about small sustainable changes. That's why Spooktober's been so important to me. I know... Spooktober hasn't been the best this year. I'm going to flat out say it. My content, not the greatest this year. It pales in comparison to last Spooktober. I'm aware of that. I'm also aware circumstances have changed in my life, which is why my content isn't as good this year. I didn't do any sort of planning. I didn't do any sort of preparation. I've been recording a lot of these videos, arguably the day of, and then just writing it out when I could. I've been doing some editing, but not as much as I'd like. But. <laughs> That's a butt joke, you see. But I have been making content every single day. And every single day that I make another video, every single day that I make something else, even if it's not perfect, I still have made something. I still have made progress. I still have something to show for the day. I still have made a small sustainable change. Now I understand I need to be doing them a little better. But I also want to be able to look back and say, hey, that's where I started. See where I started? Hear where I started? No, you can't. Because the music was so damn loud. That was before I knew how audio channels worked. That was before I was editing at all. That was before I was even doing short test recordings to see how the audio levels sounded while it was going. Yeah, and see, now I'm, I'm getting in these pauses again. I'm trying to do more stream of consciousness conversation. One of the things I did bring up in that video is how self-conscious I am about my image. And I still am. I'm still incredibly self-conscious about my appearance. I know a lot of people are in a lot of different ways. Whether that's how they present, whether that's a scar or an injury or a blemish or just the way they look, they're self-conscious about something. I'm still self-conscious about stuff, but guess what? I'm still here making content. I'm not letting that stop me. I'm not letting things stop me from doing the things I'm wanting to do, the things that are important to me. <clears throat> I'm getting better at speaking. I'm getting better at being comfortable in my more natural voice and also adjusting my natural voice to be more where I'd like it. I have, I, watching this reminded me that I do things a little differently. My calls to action are a little bit different. That's one of the things YouTubers are encouraged to do is at the end of your video, do a call to action, uh, ask people to like, comment, subscribe, and 
and hit the bell for notifications. I don't do that so much. <clears throat> I do calls to action, but most of my calls to action historically have been taking care of yourself, whether that's basic exercises, whether that's pursuing a hobby or passion or interest, whether that's reaching out to people you care about, or even just taking care of your physical and mental health. My calls to action are to better yourself and to have these serious conversations conversations with yourself. I have the luxury of being able to sit here and listen to myself from the past talk about the things that were important to me, at least in so much as I could hear it over the horrendously loud audio. <clears throat> I paused that video a couple times while I was watching it. I'll try to cut that in properly on my, on my, uh, who's the what's it, you know, the thing you do. Editing. Because I'm going to try to do that here before too terrible long. I'm going to try to get this up tonight. I actually need to get this up tonight. But I also have some other recording I want to do. I have some games I want to play with some people. And I could stay up to late, late to do some of this. I am changing somewhat some of my priorities. I have been prioritizing Spooktober a lot this month. To the detriment of contact with friends, to the detriment of time with family, to the detriment of even just letting myself relax. <clears throat> so tonight, I'm going to let myself relax. Maybe I'll record, maybe I won't. I don't know. This is a recording I can use. I'm looking forward to having this recording. I'm looking forward to sharing this video with you, even though I'm incredibly self-conscious about it. Because as you watch it, I hope you remember, hey, that guy, uh, that guy made content. He's just a guy and he can just make content. Look how far he's come. I've come a long way and we're going to keep going. It is the 19th. We have almost two weeks left. I still need to find my cameras to where I can do my real life videos. I'm going to do some more stuff. I'm going to keep doing stuff and I hope that you will continue joining me. Looking forward to doing more stuff with friends. Looking more forward to doing more stuff on my own. Looking forward to beating 13 steps. But for now, my friends, small sustainable change. Go do things you need you know you need to do. For now, farewell. <laughs>